did he do it? How did that okay, end up on go. my foot? I don't know. It still hit me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome back to Fat and Choose Fat. I'm Jason. This is Alex. This is Dennis. And the producer is with us. Dooley's not here. He said he was going to come or try, but... You know, shit happens. Uh, yeah, he's in the middle. He's moving. I mean, evidently it takes him. By the time he moves, it's going to be like a month. He's going to miss the first month. Time yeah. sprung forward. He's probably still asleep. <laughs> uh, Do, you know, he's coming out of his cave. Got to shake that, uh, shake that winter <laughs> off. You know? uh, Dennis, what's up? Hi. Yeah. Busy weekend. Busy. Busy weekend. Yeah. Ladies, uh, we've also noticed here lately, especially uh, the last couple, at least about the last month and a half. Oh. Uh, the customers at the farmer's market have learned to stop coming on Saturdays. They come on Sundays now because of the whole, all the whole, like the, how they have an event pretty much every single month and everything because mm-hmm. there's no parking and everything. Are you like, okay over there? Sorry, I, no. The microphone fell? Yeah. I'm just <laughs> trying to, like, the screen fell into the microphone and the microphone fell. I'm just trying to get everything <laughs> off of this. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. But yeah, they're like, uh, like, because four weeks in a row now, Sundays beat Saturdays. Nice. Yeah. Uh, when we were there Sunday. Um, yeah. People were really nice. Yeah. Like, the the actual customers. Like, everybody was very pleasant. But thank you for sending some people to the food shop. Uh-huh. I, I, like, you want good food, you go here. Thank Simple. you to those guys for bringing the pager back. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I walked up for anything for bringing them back. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, we had a... We, got, we figured out, like, what the starter problem was on the food truck. Uh, it was a loose battery. We didn't figure it out. That is true. Somebody else figured it out for us. <laughs> but yeah, I was surprisingly. So the easy. people, the people who re- re- rebuilt the starter, yeah. we took it to them. Yeah, and yeah, he yeah, literally yeah. was like, "Crank it over." He was like, "Oh, more than one click. It's a battery problem." Yeah, he's like, "If it's a starter <laughs> problem, you get one." And you're like. Sure enough, like he knew exactly. Just... He knew exactly. Like immediately, <laughs> we have like a well, jumper because we have two batteries. Yeah, and it was just like the connection on the jumper was going bad to the like to actually connect to the engine. And that was it. It was like, just a he, bad ground. He just like flipped the jumper around, sanded it down a little bit, and bam, we were in business. But yeah, I thought it was hilarious. He's like, oh, more than one click. Yeah, no, that's battery. That's it. I mean, like in, in Dom, like yeah. the, the mechanic who normally works on our up at the shout out to the 76 at Ship's Corner, uh, where he might see our truck a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the uh, He knew, he said, like, take it to them. They rebuilt the starter. He's like, that guy's going to know what's wrong with it as soon as you fucking, as soon as he hears it. Huh? And he said, bring cheesesteaks. Yeah. (laughs) So we did bring cheesesteaks. We brought cheesesteaks to the guys who, you know, fixed the truck. And they they called and left a voicemail, a really nice voicemail, saying it was like, and at first, like, when it was playing, I was like, fuck, man, like, what did we do? You know, like, (laughs) did we fuck something up in their parking lot? Like, you know, he's like, you were just here. Uh, getting your like your truck, and he's like, well, and he's like, you left us some cheesesteaks. And then I was like, fuck, what's wrong with the cheesesteaks? And he's like, those are the best damn sandwiches I've ever had in my life. <laughs> well, I gotta put that pause in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even have onion. Yeah, we no, didn't it know just if anyone was cheese, allergic or we didn't know yeah. what, Like, Dom was like, because I made one for somebody at the at the 76, yeah. uh, who's no onion. Yeah. So I went to bring it to her, but she wasn't there, so Dom ate it. <laughs> I don't blame him. Well, yeah, he's, he, was, he was like, man, thank God, I'm starving. <laughs> and like, then he was like, so, like, then when we were having this, the issue with the truck starting, and he was like, yeah, whatever you did, whatever you made me that one day, and I was like, I didn't make it for you, dude. <laughs> he's like, yes, he's you, like yes. make those and bring them, bring them there. <laughs> so, and then, of course, like, then Dom, like, paid us for them. The cheesesteaks, like, dude, you don't have to pay us for these damn cheesesteaks. The right. Like, that is, like, the cheapest labor we ever had. You know, four right? cheesesteaks, and you fix the truck. Like, right, I'll right. deal with it, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, I'll eat that But cost. he wouldn't take his damn money back, so we bring him in. <laughs> all right, uh, let's... Uh, all right, because we just did... Before we get into this list, I want to bring up the one I brought up yesterday. Short topic. Okay, go ahead. Comical Karens. Comical Karens. Oh, God. All right, so we all know what the typical Karen is, right? Yeah. It's, it's someone who was like, I want to see the manager... What about, like, the comical Karens? Because we all have, uh, you know, I would say parents that tend to do this a lot, probably. But, like, the dad at the Mexican restaurant, you know, who's like, Buenos noches! <laughs> Gracias! Like, the seven words of Spanish that he knows yes. has yeah. to say every single one of them before, you know, the waiter leaves Taco. the table. <laughs> like, he's saying goodnight when yeah. the waiter gets there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just, uh, just, like, 
I don't know. I can't even think of the exact example that we had. Okay. Because I was there. Uh, yeah, I was like, I was like, we had an example. Uh, so we went to an, uh, an aid another event um, mm-hmm. at Pups and Pints. Yeah, and Pups and Pints has an open kitchen. Yeah, like so, it's kind of set up like our food truck. There's just a counter. Like they make the food. No, yeah. I they put it up on the counter. You know, with your ticket number, mm-hmm. and because you have like the little pager, and then they paid you. Yeah, then you come and get your food, and you put your pager down, right? Yeah. So, like I was in line to get a beer. Uh, and the lady in front of me got beer. And then turned around and went to walk past. Because, like, I was, like, on one side of the kitchen window. Yeah. She was on the other side. Because you had to, like, walk. It was kind of crowded in there. There was, like, 100 people in a place, like, maybe about the size of this garage. Uh, maybe twice the size of this garage. Anyway, it was a lot of people. Rain yeah. changed some plans, yeah. Yeah, it was supposed to be an outdoor event. Um, so, uh, the lady, as she was walking up to the, like, walking past the window, she, like, stopped and looked at the guy in the kitchen. She's like, oh, did you make that for me? And I was like, oh, Jesus. And then, like, so, like, I let it go. But I couldn't. Yeah. Uh, so a little while later, like I was going to get another beer, and I stopped by the window. Yeah. At, just to look at the cook, and I was like, "Hey, man, I saw that fucking happen earlier today. Like, you know, do people, how often does that shit happen? Like, people walk up, like, oh, you make this for me?' And he's yeah. like, "Man, he's like, did I roll my eyes at that lady? I was like, no, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't see you because like I was standing on the other side. He's like, I hope not. He's like, man, it happens so fucking much. Yeah, sure. Does. And he was like, <laughs> it's like. Like every, I imagine it's like all day. All day. You make that for me? No. <laughs> no. Maybe no, I said else. no pickles. <laughs> like, you know, something stupid. Again, like the other example was like if you're a waitress or something, like you drop off a check. It's like, can I get you anything else? A million dollars? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. 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 I fucking knew it. Yeah, see? Yeah. Like, again, the comic, I don't know what they call the dudes. It's not Karen's. It's not Ken's. Browse. Huh? All right, whatever. Anyway, comic, Chads. comic, Chad. Chad. comic, comic, Chad, comic, Karens, yeah. like, just yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> what Kevin ever do? All right, you? so let's get into this first topic because we just made another batch of the thirteenth level of hell. This shit's pretty hot this time. Yeah. Uh, so this is a real fucking thing, and it's kind of stupid, but you know we grow our own. So here we are. Jalapenos are being made less spicy on purpose, and people are heated. So they are literally breeding jalapenos to be less spicy. I have three aspects on this. Go. One, I am not surprised that they are making jalapeno peppers, which is the most prevalent pepper in publicly available food, less spicy. Sorry. Because, let's face it, the public can't handle spice, heat, flavor. Uh, it's got salt. Take it out. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, two... Um, I feel like, at least locally, we have been having the opposite experience. It seems That's, like most of the farms we know have not. Well, you know, like been how taming to tell, down the it, capsaicin. I haven't done a side by side on this yet, but they say if the if the pepper has like the the lines on it, then it's it's hotter. Oh, yeah, I will also uh, say oh. oh. Yeah, keep talking. We'll just get tap right. that. I will also yeah. say one last thing about the peppers is that it, jalapenos in particular, if you are going to go for a hotter pepper, just wait for it to turn red. Like, the red jalapeno is hotter <laughs> than a green jalapeno. Dude, that is trippy. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> like, that shit, like, it started going, like, back and forth between <laughs> my ears. Yeah, like, I, I could deal with one. Yeah. yeah the discotheque was not happening. <laughs> that was like, you were talking, and it was like one ear or the other. One ear or the other. Trust like, me, I can hear it myself. Uh, it's I guess that enough. makes sense. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, so one, the public, obviously, I feel like jalapeno is just the most commonly used pepper. They're going to tone it down. Like, if you want something hotter, get a serrano. Again. Well, I mean, that even says it in this, in this article, because I actually did read this article. Oh, what does it say? Like, get a hotter pepper if you want a hotter pepper? Like, yeah, so someone was like, yeah, I noticed. So I just switched to Serrano. So yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> that makes sense. And again, I... You know, here's my point. Here's my question, though. Are like, Is the pepper... I mean, if they are breeding them yeah. to, to be less spicy, um, or did the person who was always eating jalapenos just get used to it and, like, I need something hotter? So he switched to, to yeah. you know, like a Serrano. Like, you went up a level. I think that would... Really get that's like a, that's like an achievement. I think that would really get into the <laughs> way that they are determining the level of heat, because if they're going by the Scoville level, right. that is an uh, an objective uh, point of view, because each person might take a different amount of sugar to alleviate. I get that, but 
Also, the range of peppers, like the the range, like a jalapeno, what is like three thousand, three thousand to. It's so like, like three thousand to like twenty six or something. Yeah, shit. Like, that, that is a broad. But spectrum. isn't there a new way that they are? I do not know a I, new way. All right, I'm gonna look that up. Continue talking. Okay. So yeah. So anyway, they're saying that you know, they're yeah, this is, <laughs> <laughs> that guy's face is classic. But scroll down. I'm like this pisses me off. You know, this is huge the industry changing the way food works without uh, nutritional need uh, for profit, whatever. Oh, so I said the wrong word. But yeah, evidently it was done. Uh, so Texas A and M University. So we have someone to blame. Which, okay, real fast, you wouldn't like expect. That. Yeah, some asshole in Texas A and M. But like, uh, oh, yeah, white people wanted to eat jalapenos so bad, but couldn't take the heat, so they do this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's great. Two things. I said objective instead of subjective. The Scoville test is a subjective assessment. I knew what you meant. Derived. And I'm pretty uh, sure if you didn't say that, no one out there listening would have known. Would've, 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 but but I, now there, we all know you were wrong. There is, a, there is a, <laughs> an important difference, and I said the wrong one. The more uh, you know. However, they are... The, the reason I brought this up is because they have a new uh, HPLC, High Performance Liquid Chromatography can be used to analytically quantify the capsinoid content as an indicator of pungency. So there is a new scientific... Capsaicinoid? Capsaicinoid. Yeah. Say that three times. Capsaicinoid, 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 capsaicinoid. Million dollars. Capsaicinoid. But yeah. I mean, so again, there is. I'm curious... What the rank? Like again, like you said, is it just the guy was like, oh, these aren't as hot? Like, yeah, you've been eating for fucking twenty years, right? Like, I right. said, uh, you eat jalapeno poppers every day for I'm, lunch. I'm just yes. curious how they're how they're counting that now, uh, and and honestly, well, so they're using they're actually using a scientific way to to actually pinpoint how hot a pepper is. I do believe they it have is, like a machine. Uh, yes, I do believe it is still debatable though. Uh, it, I believe it quantifies the amount of capsaicin but i don't know if there are forms of capsaicin and this might be a weird segue but much like thc there's like fucking like 200 cannabinoids or some shit so i don't know if there's different forms of capsaicin um but the capsaicinoids obviously they can count how many there are assuming more means hot that's all i'm at right now but that might be why they are still using the scoville level to articulate uh because one a more people know it and two this may not be Exact, like they're trying to say it's science, but if you can't say if this equals this, then it's not really she scientific. It's with. just well, most of the time this works. Well, I mean, yeah, there's like a range anyway. So yeah. I mean, like and again, like we've all had jalapenos that are hot as hell. Mm. Happy and Farms, and then we've had jalapenos that you know like green just, just taste. Yeah, it tastes like a bell pepper, mm. like with, <laughs> with jalapeno flavor. Again, though, if you want a hot bell, uh, hot jalapeno and you think they're too dull, wait for them to turn red. Like we have, we have, we know that, they get sweeter. Yeah, no, they get no, they get hotter. Hot. I mean, that, you know what? That might be also true. They can do both at the same time, but they get hot. I, they, I don't. I've, you don't. I've, you don't, you don't taste the sweet. <laughs> so you, you don't taste. We did the it sweet. on. The, we did it like we had. We had a red one just like but randomly on the in food a pack. Truck. Yeah, and it was like, ah, like, oh, let's eat this side by side. Yeah, with and nothing like, else. Well, yeah, just ate a slice of red jalapeno, and that bitch was hot as hell. <laughs> Like, well, well, I mean, we did the green first, which was like, oh, that's hot. You know, okay, fine. And then it was like, oh. I we'll also find that, like, I feel like when we smoked them. Can I just say, thank God we weren't dumb and like, oh, just bite the pepper? Like, <laughs> I just feel like, like when, you, when you smoke jalapenos, I feel like they get hotter. I don't know if that's just in my head. But, like, I feel like when we do, like, smoked, like, when you, uh, like, big okay. poppers. And okay. You, and you okay. smoke them and, like, does the capacitors and drop to the bottom of the pepper? Yeah, well, I, mean, I feel like that's a two-part thing. You're talking about... Smoking stuffed peppers. Yeah, smoking like a jalapeno popper. <laughs> so do you think... I, you're not talking about smoking just peppers, though. Like, if you just smoke the pepper, do you think it would be hotter? Or do you think the cat say some, like, seeps into the cheese? So, like, the cream cheese in the popper or the bacon, or do you think that that fat... Oh, dude, I feel like I made, like, a huge mistake. Like, do you think I that fat up, soaks up the flavor? Because, you know like, you core it out, yeah. you know, so it's, like, yeah. tall. Did you flip it over and all the juice fell out? No, I just, shit? like, bit it from the bottom. Like, I picked oh, it up and then all did that. All well, the juice like, yeah. like, like, drop yeah, it down yeah. in that, the gullet, yeah. like, in, like, that first bite. Because I remember um, Alex Askew was here. Yeah. And she's, like, like, she did it. She bit it 
before me. Like, she went first. And, like, I was like, we're just bullshit. And she looked at me. She's like, why would you do that? <laughs> like, do what? And she's like, it's so hot. And I was like, what are you talking about? It's a jalapeno. Like, and then I ate one. And I was like, holy shit, dude. Why is- did I do that? <laughs> It was the hottest jalapeno I've ever had. In my was life. it? I mean, was it the? And hot, I eat jalapenos. Was all it hot the whole time. way through though, or was it just that initial bite? Like, does it? Because that makes no, sense. I don't know. Like, I feel like it wasn't as bad as right, you went up. As you, yeah, as you went so up. So it the just, yeah, it just but filled the hole. I also, there, like, like, yeah, did it all just drip down into the cone? Collect. Yeah, like at the bottom. Like, what's yeah. that ice cream? Like the Nutty Buddies or whatever. Um, it's got like a little chocolate Dr- in the bottom. Sticks, yeah, <laughs> it's drumstick, like that, but yeah. it's straight, straight capsaicin. I mean, let's face it. We did a test on some freezable peppers, and we did it in a vacuum seal bag, and just thawing them out. There was some juice. Yeah. Like, I'm curious that is about. True. Uh, I don't know. You know. No, I'm good. I don't know. Like, oh, you was, don't want to drink that? You don't. No. Want to just, I mean, I thought about it for a second. I'm sure you did. It's like a. It's like a. What, like, like, like three drops. Yeah, and, but then there was like the like your internal monologues like doing that is really counterproductive. I mean, <laughs> come on. It takes like three pounds of powder. I'm really curious how much just like liquid extract it would take. I don't think it would take much because, like, I've tried. I've tried. The, we got a bottle in there. We can find out. I've tried it. <laughs> hey, hey, I've, I've tried it too. Yeah, we've toothpicked it. Yeah, I'm not fucking crazy enough to like. Oh, let's take a shot. I mean, it's hot enough, man. Like, I when we toothpicked the extract, like, and I just put the toothpick on my tongue. It felt like the toothpick was still there. Yeah. After I removed it, like for like 20 minutes, it felt like the toothpick was still in my mouth. So. I wonder which is worse for your body, and I don't mean like worse for you mentally or like. Short term physically, I mean like long term physical effects. I wonder which is worse: a shot of fucking capsaicin, like the straight cap extract, or like I don't know, five shots of moonshine. Oh, like good moonshine. I don't mean like. I mean, I think I'd rather do the moonshine. Yeah, but see, that's short term. I'm not talking about short term. I'm talking about like which would fuck you up more in the long term. Like you think your liver would be able to come back from five <laughs> and I mean like I'm talking good moonshine here. I'm not look, talking about look, like, I just, like I've eaten I don't mean this ABC store shit I'm talking about like you know you find Yeehaw Yokel out and fucking dude again yeah like I ate the Reaper you ate the Reaper and I mean I ate two like in two days or whatever it, dude, away. it was Man, I ain't gonna make this shit it was like the worst experience well like I mean yeah I was just like Dude, it really, the stabbing pains were like the worst. Like I could On handle, the floor. yeah, I could handle a lot. You know, I mean, I've definitely had food poisoning, but this felt like food poisoning. But I know exactly what it was, and I don't know if that's considered food poisoning because you're just stupid eating a eating, oh. eating a reaper. Like this, just because you're dumb. Like, is I mean, it food poisoning? I mean, the food wasn't poisoned; it was poison. Right. <laughs> I, I, I ate, I ate the poison, and now I. And then, like, I, <laughs> then I watched like a Reaper video, like a guy eating a Reaper on a video, and he just like chewed it up and spit it out. He's like, "Yeah, you really shouldn't eat this. <laughs> you shouldn't swallow this." And I was like, "I know." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just chew it up and get the burn all in my mouth, and then I spit it out. Like, you don't want that in your stomach. Like, I know. <laughs> I wish I'd have watched this video first. <laughs> All right. I remember my mom was like, you could have gone to the hospital. And I was like, yeah, but none of us did. We probably should have. Yeah. None really, of us did. I really did. felt like, it. I was like, you know, this might be that time where I'm going to go to the fucking hospital. Like, what happened? Like, I, I'm stupid. <laughs> like, I, just, I, I ate it, man. Like, I don't think there's anything they can do for you. <laughs> All right, turn around, pull your pants down. No, <laughs> I, no. What? Not that stupid. Like, what? <laughs> You got me once. <laughs> like, you're not getting me again. <laughs> this tongue depressor tastes funny. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, does this smell like chloroform? All right, so... We're just going to take your time. I, I started a new category. I see this. So, I'm calling it grocery stories. <laughs> like, grocery stores, but grocery stories. Yeah. So... You gotta pay. So this happened to me twice now, and I'm getting pissed off. Uh, <laughs> and so I keep going to the grocery store, um, and I'll buy something because the the price, like it's on sale, right? Yeah. So I was like, "Cool, man, I'll grab this. That's cool." I was just say that seems like a logical thing to do. To grab. I mean, I hope you're just not like go. go! <laughs> so, like you know, I'm wandering around the store, and like you know, I pick something up because like, oh, this is a pretty good deal. Yeah. You know, like, I don't know anything, like, off, I'm trying to remember what the fuck I bought. Toilet but, paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was toilet paper. Thanks. They, they had the eight mega rolls, which is, like, 16 regular rolls or 32 yeah. you know, was, individual rolls. Okay, and, like, so, seven. but the, the, the list price is, like, that was on the, on the shelf. Like, I grab it, throw it in the cart. Yeah. Don't think about it. 
go home, get all the way home. And she's like, well, that's a lot of toilet paper. I was like, yeah, dude, it was a really good deal. And like, then I like, like five dollars. Yeah, then I looked at the receipt and I was like, man, this is not what the fucking, this is not the price it said. Oh, and she was like, oh no, you gotta like go onto the app and you mm-hmm. gotta like clip the coupons oh. in the app. Yeah. And then go, when you go to the store, then you punch in your code and then it takes it off. I was like, that's some bullshit, man. Cause that was, that, that was the price that was posted. Yeah. When did Walmart like, the whole point of Walmart is like, come get your cheap shit here. Like, y- that is the price. Well, I was in you a grocery to... store, not Walmart. Oh, okay. Sorry. I assume. So, this one in particular, and it happened to me again. Where I bought something else that was on sale. Well, now it makes sense. <laughs> and then I was like, man, I'm like, this is fucking annoying. Like, they, they're getting me. Yeah. And I don't No, I don't want to go to Kroger anymore. <laughs> Damn, was, name I, drop. I, yeah, I was trying not to. Name drop. I was like, man, I'll fucking, I'll go to Food Lion. Like, <laughs> she didn't even give it like a K. No. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Food Lion owned by Kroger? No. No. Harris Teeter's owned by Kroger. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I did. I I thought. And what I knew, was the I, what was the one that we went to in California that was also owned by Kroger? Rouse. Is that Rouse? Yeah. Yes. Because I was trying to download the app, and you already had it. And it was like this is already this account already exists. I was like, the fuck it does, dude. I've never oh, been yeah. on Rouse it in my a, life. It was a different app. Yeah, but it was it was the same login. It's like it still used the same phone number. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, dude, I tried to like tried and tried and tried. This like this is bullshit. Like, <laughs> because in California. You need the app in order to get the alcohol discounts. Yeah, like you need to, like here in Virginia, they don't fuck around. Like they, that that there's no sales on alcohol. Like yeah. you don't need to punch in a code. Yeah. That's the price. Yeah. You, know what, you know what I miss? You remember like the blinky, tacos. the blinky? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't miss tacos. They're available. <laughs> you remember like the blinky red printer gun looking things in the aisle that used to have like oh, the coupons yeah. oh yeah out dude, I saw I saw I a meme I, I saw I, a meme I, about that the I, other I, day I the shit out of like, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta bring I your fucking t- you gotta bring your phone fuck that like put a fucking red sticky gun next to that toilet paper like oh I pull, pull your pull, coupon I need 25 of these right <laughs> bam and you know what that way you can limit the amount of coupons I don't know do whatever the yeah. fuck you wanna do just saying like they used to blink at you like hey take this coupon they used to tell you about like yeah. it's right here. Take this coupon. You didn't even like know what the coupon was at the time. You just pulled it to look at it. Like oh, well, I mean, I don't, they had they had it on top. Sometimes I mean, but you just still pulled it. Sometimes those like, things those coupons were all oatmeal. over the store. They were on the floor <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, that's because you didn't need oatmeal. Oh, I thought this was for toilet paper. I don't need oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> After why I is eat it my the, oatmeal, why is it in the, the toilet, toilet paper? Why is it yeah. in the toilet paper? Aisle? Because of fiber, bro. I mean. Right. Uh, don't That's forget true. to pick up your oatmeal. What if it's hard and healthy? <laughs> you know? Oatmeal, baby. Oatmeal tea. Make sure you drink your oatmeal tea. Okay. Is that how you pick so, up your oatmeal? With toilet Back to my grocery stories. I got another topic. So, I was at the store. Um, another Ooh. another grocery store. Big one, please. Yeah. Uh, A date check, I guess. Yeah. Top shelf, bottom shelf? Top shelf, yes, sir. Um, yeah, top shelf beer right here. Yeah. Right here. So, I was at the store, and... Uh, Lime was long as shit, right? We're in the aisle, like, and is is this is this the po? No, no, this is the actual grocery store. Okay, not not the Arpo. No, so different one this time. So I'm in the. Are you okay, bud? Ah, I, just, I got a. I was date checking. Got a great view from back here. I got the I got the butcher bend over. Right? <laughs> Speaking of the dude at Depot, did you catch his ass cheeks? <laughs> No, and I'm... I'm like we, were, we were getting the brisket? No, I did not. And thankfully. the dude was like hunched over, like restocking. And like, gonna, I was like, I was dude, in... it is cold in here, man. I know you can feel that. Uh, dude, I think that guy lives in there. That was like full plumber. I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad <laughs> I missed a plumber that. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. I'm glad I missed that. Yeah, it was not... I just turned around I was like, damn it. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> like, Blue moon. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the store and like... They opened up a new register, and I was appreciative. Yes. You know, because the guy was like, yo. Like, he looked at me, and he was like, come on. Like, uh-huh. get out. Cash of only. What? Get, yeah, get out, <laughs> get out of this line. Come over here. So I get over there, and he's bringing my stuff up, and his ear was his, like, it looked like he had, like, a long earring on or whatever, and yeah. I looked at it, and it was the dangly earlobe. What happened was he had gauged it out so big that it broke. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So he had just like a dangler. Uh, it was it was pretty tough. And every time he moved his head, though, 
Uh-oh. It was just like swinging around. It was just, <laughs> I couldn't look. Dude. Like I had to like just stare at the credit card machine because I was like, I'm gonna. Get this. <laughs> I mean, what do you do at that point? Like, do you do you just I do you get them pierced with like light up LEDs or something and shake them around like dreadlocks? There's like, only I one. I, oh. what, <laughs> you said it split. Time. Like it was like it so was already it be two. Well, oh, because like the loop, and so, then so it just like opened up. Right. So it looked like a like so a yeah. Teeth. So I I but it had healed. I didn't. You didn't say that part. I was just assuming like it was split, and there was just like two yeah, pieces. No, just think, like, just not think, that like, it makes it any better. Yeah, I'll be like, honest. Like, like like imagine like just opening up a circle. Yeah. And it was just dangling. Like so it broke like from like the backside. I don't know, man. It was t- it was. I'm trying not to visualize the, it, but I the can't. The gauge help broke, it. not his ear. He, you know, his earlobe broke. Still, he stretched it out too far. I mean, and it was just. Yeah, I called it the dangle lobe. I don't know what else to call it. But it, yeah, I saw it. I think it had personality. <laughs> <laughs> Gives him an edge. What's that? That's Barry. Barry the earlobe dangler. I don't know. All right. So we got an update from last week. Uh, we had a conversation about uh, the dynamic fias- the dynamic pricing fiasco. Yeah. Is what we're calling it. So Wendy's was going to do dynamic pricing. So, and they, they're... Because they're, they're getting new menu boards. <laughs> when you're done. Just stay right here. Just when you're done. <laughs> okay. So they're getting new menu boards, evidently. And so the CEO or whatever had mentioned about dynamic pricing where they could, you know. The surge pricing, yeah. Yeah. It's the same way like Uber and all of them do, yeah. Yes. Uh, a lot of backlash. Huge backlash. <laughs> so. My $5 burger turned into 35 So now, boy. now, I think through the end of March, I think they said. So you know they're they're trying to reel it in the yeah. best they can. Wait, don't don't scroll down here. Don't scroll down. But uh, so so now inside the app, if you make like a ten dollar purchase, you can get like a one dollar Dave single or a two dollar Dave's double. So Whoa. that's like their thing right now. Like, damn it, we fucked up. Here's a dollar burger. You just but, explained some shit. Well, what? but it says you need only you yeah, buy yeah. anything. That's to play exactly with. what I was about to get into. Yes, Wendy's is selling one dollar burgers following dynamic pricing fiasco, and you don't need to buy anything to claim it. So you do. How it's you? A, how do you get a dollar burger without giving them a dollar for the burger? <laughs> like, and as you said, you could get it in the app, but that still means you have to buy ten dollars worth of shit to get. I mean, yeah, a, what a I like, scroll out a little like, bit. I don't know because I didn't really read read this. Uh, it was just like I was catching information, and then I found a topic. But yeah, so it's supposed to be, I think, through the end of the month. So if you go in the app, and you have to do it in the app, and then go pick it up or whatever. Um, yeah, keep going down. It's like the March Madness themed. Where there you go yeah. in that little section right there on Monday. Uh, so eight, through April tenth. Okay, so they got you got a while. So you can go get you inside the app. Go get your days uh, single days double for two. Tell them, tell them, Team Fat Kid you. It will get you nothing. <laughs> See again. That did, so you you absolutely have to buy something. I feel oh, like yeah. They're not just giving well, away but, burgers. Well, yeah, but whoever wrote this, In order to obviously. get your $1 or $2 burger, customers will need to add either a day single or day's double to an order in the Wendy's app. Before going to the Wendy's offers page and adding a discount to the order, you'll also need to sign up for a Wendy's account or log into an existing account to claim this deal. Fine Print also says that you only get one here. at a time. <laughs> Dooley's here. We're assuming. Dooley's and here. just because you know, each Wendy's account can only redeem the offer once. He rang the doorbell because he knows all our phones are turned off. So <laughs> Did you hear that hear part? Nothing. What? Sorry. You can only redeem the offer once. Oh, uh, so you can. So you better get. You better buck up and get two dollars and get the day's double. If you can only do a one, or can you do one mm-hmm. of each? No. See, it says. Uh, the fine print says you can only get one or two dollar burger at a time, and each Wendy's account can only redeem the offer once. Well, that's unfair. So not only can you only do one, like oh, two right, Wendy's accounts can't go on in on the same order and get two burgers. Get ten singles, ten double. Yay! Hey, there you go. Norm. <laughs> Norm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta move over. Dit. <laughs> Isn't it just dit now? Dit. Dit? Oh, that's right. Or is it mitt? I don't know. I think it's dit. Damn it, uh, Go top in the freezer. We well, could just call him you dit. Got, you got time. Damn it, Dooley. Dit. I guess I'm moving over to the other side, okay? I'll be right back. Just the dit. Just the dit? Just the dit. you're over there. No. <laughs> What's that? Green oh. chili cauliflower casserole. What? Oh. I mean, just because they're trying to make it better, I'll give them credit. But it's still cauliflower crust. I, I mean, 
I don't know. We we did a we did a freezer inventory, and she had like cauliflower rice, like in there, like five bags of it, probably. No, only one. Okay, only one. I was impressed. Rice, cauliflower rice. I was impressed with yeah, how cauliflower much rice. Yes. Multiple I was impressed bags. with how much not there was cauliflower in the <laughs> freezer, but the ground turkey's kind of getting out of hand. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's taco meat. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. welcome to the podcast. <laughs> I'm just going to save that for us. You can just go ahead and uh, we'll move on to... The next topic. Since you're here and all, how's, how's everything going? Um, <laughs> moving. Internet up. Yeah. The internet. Have you been living there with no internet? No. I'm sorry, I'm the other place. Okay. So... But, <laughs> yeah, pretty much all well, my shit's moved in. So, so, so it's, it's been 11 days now and you haven't moved. What was I looking for? Yet. I, my room is completely empty except for the love seat, which I will have to depart with. Oh, why? Mm. Did you s- no space? What? What do you have to depart with? The love seat that um, we gave him like two, three years ago, whatever. Yeah. The thing I fall asleep on mostly before my bed. <laughs> <laughs> you get no love. Or I mean, dude, isn't there like a mezzanine up there or something? Baby, put sit on me. We're putting the other one up there. The one that's just from the living room. Okay. Well, what about in the living room? Keeping this damn love seat. <laughs> oh, Where are you way. supposed to play video games? Maybe. Do you still have all I the I got pillows? a recliner now, though. Oh, you fancy ass motherfucker. <laughs> it's electric, too. Ooh. <laughs> He's bougie. I mean, I have a recliner, too. I but just never electric. use it. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a lazy boy. It's old. Mm. It's old school. I forgot about that one. Two people can fit in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried to give you that one, too. <laughs> now it's just in the other room. You're like... I think there's like a pair of jeans on it right now. It was a pair of jeans just because I got up so fast, they were still there. <laughs> and then there's like the the new bottles, the eyedropper bottles that for our new hot sauce that we're coming. We're in development. Yeah. So it'll be like Devil's Tears or some shit. And it's just, it's literally going to be so hot it comes with like an eyedropper. And that's all you need. Right now it is like pure reaper. Yeah. But we need to find out a way to flavor it. <laughs> like, Do we? I mean, I believe so. Here's my theory. How or my is this? Not... Eye drop. <laughs> An eye drop for chili. Uh, <laughs> I am not a fan of the bitterness that Reapers yeah. bring, bring to the table. And I'm trying to figure out how to make it, more, let's say, palatable. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. We haven't <laughs> made an entire batch of chili and put two or three drops of it into it to test out how it that disperses. Is true. You're going off of let's taste the Reaper sauce as, as Reaper sauce, sauce, yeah, and it tastes like Reaper sauce. What's your plan for this? Curry? What does it taste like? Queso. I don't have a plan. It tastes like Wawa pizza. <laughs> Wait, that's probably the plan for the queso, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wawa has pizza. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a two point seven. Two point seven down there. Oh, what's, what's this thing? Oh, yeah, well, no, well, yeah, we'll you you talk about it. it. Yeah, you missed that. We'll you talk about it, it after the podcast. No, too yeah. late. At the same time, this is kind of scary. I yes. Kinda, Kind of had a feeling y'all already started the podcast. Want to text Dennis? Oh man! Beer, and he did not text back. <laughs> so this is kind of like the pilk. Uh, uh, All right, so dirty soda creamer. So coffee mate and Dr Pepper team up for a dirty soda creamer. Yes. Sounds like Mepsi to me. Really Mepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Co- you get that dirty water. soda. Uh, yeah, so you got yeah, Dr Pepper and creamer. I mean, yeah, it's uh, just you got to ruin good Dr Pepper like that. Like what the fuck? A team coconut. up for a dirty soda creamer. So this is. Is this an actual creamer for your coffee that's supposed to taste like Dr. Pepper? No. I, 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 well, they say dirty soda typically consists of a cola mixed with creamer or half and half. Flavored syrups and lime juice. Ooh. Wait. Uh, 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 lime juice. Uh, coconut lime coffee made dirty soda. Sounds like we just got to a cement mixer. Like, Food oh, challenge. yeah, creamer and lime juice? Ooh. That's where we're at. Dude, I opened that and it smelled weird. Oh. Um, wait. Is, right, that, wait. is that the new spice? Yes. Food challenge. Thought it was a good. See who drank the most of it. The most pilk. The, the most. Mepty. P- Pilm. Pilm. P- p- cream. I don't. I don't know. Fucking. All right. So are, you, what are, you, are you going with the dirty soda? It has its own name. Dirty soda. Yeah. It literally see, says. See who drank the most of it straight. Uh, I. Was that you? 
so, so weird yeah. that Dr. Pepper yeah. went with okay. coconut lime. Like, you didn't even stick to coconut. your fucking, like, core 23 fucking Ew. flavors. Okay, so, in the segue. Uh, At home, dirty sodas just I picked up the easy. new Coca Cola Spiced. Uh, is it Reaper flavored? No, evidently <laughs> it is raspberry spiced Coke and other natural flavors. Alex did a little research and said there is no raspberry in here at all. Uh, Do you see anything? I saw no. like caramel. I'm actually I'm actually pretty surprised in how short the list is. I am as well. Uh, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup can't have anything without that in it. Uh, caramel color, uh, phosphoric acid, natural flavors. Oh, that might be where the uh, raspberry is dropped in. Phosphoric acid. No, the can natural we, flavors. Uh, oh, heard. This can we just so can we just look sense. at the the bottle for this dirty soda coffee mate thing? It makes like, so much more sense if you if you read that one paragraph right there. Sensation. Mix your coffee mate with Dr Pepper. One well, no, uh, which dirty which? soda became a mocktail esque mainstay in the in the state, likely because Utah has a large Mormon population who don't typically typically drink alcohol because of their religion. So is this supposed to be like a Mocktail. black Russian or something? Apparently, with co- with coconut and lime. Yeah, I'm so Bruh. I'm so confused. It uh, sounded like there was someone in my fucking also, kitchen. The one, <laughs> the one on the right where it like, yeah. I just don't think Dr Pepper can coconut lime. Like the, is that just me or like would you expect it to like maybe use the Dr Pepper symbol but That's not the can? Jinx. Like the one on the left kind of makes sense. It's got a smell. I didn't smell it first, but it doesn't taste good. It smells like I don't know. It tastes smells like, like Coke. It smells like cotton candy Coke. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a sweeter Coke. I don't know. What's, it's weird. D- Lauren, Lauren, my brother did not give it high marks, so I was like, uh, I can understand. It's yeah, it's kind of gross. It's got like a cough syrup taste to it. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> yeah, it's really not good at all. Sorry, Coke. Uh, Why well, be sorry? They're big enough not to give a fuck. I don't that's give a fine. fuck about them anyways. I'm a problem. I'm a Pepsi man. And you know what? If you do manage to piss off Coke, send them send a Twitter back at us, Coke. I'm I I'd, right. I'd take it. All right. After second sip, it's not as disgusting. No, fuck First that Coke. Sip, Be mad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but it is not good. It's not. Uh, it's. I mean. I mean, when's the last time you had a Coke? I would finish this, but I'm, I'm not going back for another. Does that make sense? Yeah. Where? Like, when's the last time I had a Coke or Alex? Any of us. Any of us. Alex, like, when's the last time you drank a Coca Cola? You do it all the time on the truck, don't you? Not all the time. I probably had one like a month ago. Oh, well. I mean, the last wait, time wait. I had it, it had like bourbon in it. Like, I, I, I tend <laughs> to stick to the brisks. Um, no carbonation. I mean, mine had because uh, we had yeah, rum. a Dr Pepper like a couple months ago. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple last months ago. Oh, wait, honey, I don't drink soda anymore. That definitely is oh. just like sweet Coke. I don't. I'm not really getting the spice. I don't, yeah, I don't no. think, I don't. I wanted some spiced. nutmeg. Again, like that, when it said spiced, I was like, I'm waiting for some, like, cinnamon or some shit. And then I was like, raspberry? What the fuck? Like, might as well call it blue raspberry Coke. Yeah. At least it would make more sense. That tastes like blue raspberry. So I, get, I get that now. A little bit more than whatever they think it's supposed to taste like. So what's 2.8? Don't like it. I don't like it. I think 2.7 was the end. All right, so there we go. Number oh, one. Okay. Okay. I don't know. That's actually I. Uh, because, yeah. I because the way the shit was going, like, I was like, oh, I'll put it here. I mean, okay. It's just, uh, right. French has just released a first of its kind mustard. We can't wait to put on everything. It's kind of a big deal. Uh, yeah, so there's your... I'll there's give your, you a hint. Yeah, it's still mustard. Um, <laughs> keep, Ooh, keep going. Potatoes. That's just regular so, mustard. So, yeah, French's new creamy dill pickle mustard. Hitting the stores. I don't know yeah, about that'd be this. Really good on deviled eggs, I bet. Oh, I bet and you're right. Salad. I just don't know. Like, if I'm, I'm not think. Are you gonna put it on your cheeseburger? Are you gonna put? Cube? Oh, I like the bottle. Yeah, try the, it. It's not a bad looking. Oh, bottle. dude, that's a that's a Cuban. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. a good idea. I like it. This, I would try it for sure. We're gonna. Yeah. Might eat the whole yeah. bottle. Huh? Well, let's go ahead Might and eat look the whole see bottle. If they have it in our store right now, <laughs> and I don't know why this is still my damn fucking store. After they keep doing me so dirty. Oh, man, switch it back to drinking a beer after a Coke is weird. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Yeah, you usually do them together. <laughs> Make that dirty soda. Like that dirty soda. <laughs> That's definitely what I was talking about. The sad part is I should know a person who does that. What? They actually get Coke and they mix fucking uh, their Natty Light with it. I was going to say, I really hope he's about to say the dirty soda part. <laughs> 
Yeah. They're mixing okay. beer with fucking damn soda. I'm like, ah. What was that called? French's? Creamy, yeah, French's. French's, I mean, we have a hard time finding the little PC <clears throat> packs right now. Even from our provider, they're like, oh, we'll get it to you eventually. Um, Interesting. What happened here? Yeah. Let me go back and refresh. They want you to subscribe. All right, so this one I just thought was funny. Uh, so, uh, anyway, the French uh, invented canned food, right? Mm-hmm. I guess we don't have the mustard around us. Instacart does. Okay. Somebody's got it. So, so, there was like a whole competition to figure out how to like make shelf stable food. Yeah. Like for, I think it was like the, the Napoleon. Like they were trying to can some shit, right? Yeah. But I thought it was funny that no one knew how to open it. So, because the canned food was invented for the military mm-hmm. use, but it was before the can opener. Yeah. So they were they had to open up their food with bayonets. So I just want to know, like this picture here, like this looks so damn dangerous. Uh huh. See, because the other day we were making tuna fish, and mm-hmm. we didn't have a can opener. Yeah. I was so bring I got that the up. little one that's on my yeah, key. He, yeah, that's a bitch. And yeah. I wasn't because the do can it. it was like a big can of tuna. Yeah. Because we're making it for the food truck for Fridays. Yeah. And so I had to open the can with that little twisty motion. Dude, my fingers were uh, fucking killing got it me. Food I was looking at the same thing, actually. But yeah, and so yeah, it was Napoleon. I, I was right, yeah, Napoleon's government. It okay. also shows it there, but I'm not positive. But well, I, didn't look, I only looked at our little This, this picture looks so damn dangerous. Like, I feel like he is about to lose this finger. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is going <laughs> to pop over. It's going to pop over. Yeah. What, Jason? I don't, he's I don't. not going to. He's, he's going to lose a digit. I mean, he's doing some work, though. I look think, how far he's I think he's already. doing the, I think, he, I don't think he's rocking. I think he's doing the pop, pull, pop, uh, pull, pop, pull, like, just yeah. straight down. So, I mean, yeah, he's probably been at that for about four minutes. <laughs> like, I'm hungry. It's going to happen. I'm just, it's going to take a so Just a fun fact. I yes. need to put like 17 holes in this half of a lid. That was a bitch to get the tuna out, too. Cause... The edges? Yeah. It was, yeah, it did yeah. not make a smooth edge. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, it, I really hope that this is poke, as in like the food and not like Pokemon. No, th- I, I, I'm because I'm not ruling either out at the moment. I'm assuming that it, it is be the, the the fish. <laughs> there you go. Request a sample of signature sauces. Sure, okay. Okay, so yes, more Walmart locations will have pokey bo- pokey uh-huh. bars. Well, look where it's at. Uh, is it Ca- California? California and Utah. What the fuck is Utah? Like, who's eating who's eating raw fish in Utah? Uncle Sharky. <laughs> Scroll. Uh, that was not me being yeah. funny, by the way. That's the yeah, Uncle Sharky, uh, okay. Pokey Bars. Yeah, I get it. Uh, yeah, so more than a dozen locations in Florida, Utah, Hawaii makes sense, and Texas. Uh, oh come on, can't we? Uh, Walmart is no stranger to carrying fast food restaurants and stores, McDonald's, Subway, Charlie, Philly cheesesteaks. Can we get that around here? Do we have one? It's at the mall. No, oh, wait, no. there's one on Nemo, uh, Newtown. Mm-hmm. I meant in a Walmart. Oh, but, you know, yeah. I mean, I'll I I will have to look at, I'll check that out. But I yeah, I mean, like we fucking Subway, <laughs> you can't put a cheesesteak shop in for me. Fuck that, man! Put a Taco Bell in there. I probably Taco Bell. That. Amway's have also partnered with Ben. I mean, there's always a Taco Bell like in the Walmart parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> That is, Where's that Walmart? Is true. Where's that, Taco Bell? I don't mean, It's around here somewhere. All right, that so they're spending, they're spending $9 billion to upgrade and modernize 1,400 stores. Wow. And then I got this Walmart over here. I won't give me my money back on my fucking, when I bought expired fucking sausages. Mm. They were over six Jason, months out of date. They're putting that money into this $9 billion for upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. We're a multi-billion dollar company, but you're a... Uh, nah. Check your dates. <laughs> it's just... Always, yeah. This is that's another grocery stories. Yeah, yeah. Start checking your dates when you buy shit. You think it's safe? We still need to do that video. Yeah, yeah, we do. Because <laughs> I'm mad. I'll keep doing shit. it until they give me my money back on the sausages and the soap. They they robbed us. Literally oh yeah, they charged us for two soaps. hand soaps, and I only got one. I'm not sure if that seems like a lot of money or a little money. That's like six and a half million dollars per per store. On, yeah, dude, on a renovation, six and a half million dollars per what, store. Okay, well, let's think about it. What are you renovating in a Walmart? It's just a big open space. Yeah, it's not like they putting up new walls and shit. I, mean, I'm, I'm gonna I don't know down, about it. I don't know they're about not some putting inspection down, codes, bro. They're not putting down carpet. Eleven okay. seconds ago, eleven seconds ago, Walmart messaged me back. 
What? Thank you for your purchase. Find your perfect can opener. <laughs> they were listening. <laughs> well, not about fucking subpar food, apparently. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, you want to hear us no, about that? No, I just want that. to sell you. That's hey, it. you want to open the fucking uh, food poison shit we've got in store for you? Get this can opener. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about the fact that the can went out of date in the 30s, and I don't mean 2000s. Get some cup yeah. Oh, I need I need new cups for this. Hold on. These fifteen menu items should be a good. Uh, I'll take one. I'll always take another beer. All right. So these fifteen menu items you should be avoided at cost. According to workers at popular fast food restaurants. I'm a bomb. All right. So I'm gonna say that chili is on this list. Chili's always gonna be on the list. Ice cream. Grilled chicken. Already fully cooked. I'm oh, sorry. What was the topic? Oh, it's uh, menu items. Menu items you should avoid at all costs. Okay, menu items. So we're not talking about like lemons and shit. Fucking like menu <laughs> items. Sorry. Right. McDonald's burgers. All right, let's go. See, let's see what they are. Fifteen. This is scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, ooh, bagels. Um, I worked at Einstein Bagels. Oh what? Uh, it was uh, basically fast food. Don't order anything with eggs. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> They aren't real eggs. What, is, what do you mean they're not real eggs? It's the fucking damn uh, liquid egg. That's still real. I know. Technically, yeah. They, just, they just, someone opened it unless, for you. Unless, and, unless and, they got the, the vegetarian version, you know. Yeah, well, that would not be <clears throat> real eggs. But yeah. I'm assuming if you're... If business is slow, they could be sitting on the counter for hours after they've been microwaved. Mm. Not even steamed? Like, you guys can't throw a pan in the steamer full of... Don't get decaf coffee at Burger King. I wouldn't get decaf coffee anywhere. <laughs> All right, Waffle House. Uh, grits can sit for hours. Yeah, of course they can. Uh, grits can sit for hours, and managers will try to make them looking fresh, even though they cost nothing. Uh, nothing ah, next to nothing to buy. So I, we leave grits on our stove. I mean, not days, but, like, yeah, all day. All day, much. yeah. <laughs> all right, the cupcakes and coffees at Panera. All come frozen. The best items are the real sandwiches and salads. They have real ingredients and are usually fresh. Uh, okay. Well, so yeah, it's just like a hockey. Yeah. <clears throat> I used to work at Jack in the Box. I don't know why anyone orders the. Good job. <clears throat> Sorry about that technical difficulties. All right. So uh, That's Jack in the Box. Things. No one would have known had you not said it. <laughs> well, no, because I remember the podcast that it's like stopped at fifty-five fucking seconds or fifty-five minutes. That's true. It was like. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know why anyone orders the bacon cheddar potato wedges. It's fake cheese with fake bacon on fried potatoes. I mean, well, I would hope it's fried potatoes. I'm trying to remember the ingredients list on the cheese, but I distinctly recall that the package did not say it contained dairy. It also smelled like feet. Oh. You can pass me, pass me the bulb. Uh, okay, so what do we got in front of us? Well, we'll take a... I, I thought you were going to make people guess, but... This is... Flesh Wound, a blood orange IPA by the Garage Brewing. We spend a lot of time at the Garage Brewing. I wonder why. Uh, I was actually talking to someone at uh, AJ Gators last night. 7.3%. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Selling the whole team packet thing. And I went to y'all's Instagram. I was like, garage, 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 garage. Where's your food? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Which Gators? Uh, Centerville? Yeah, Centerville. One year my now old house. Mm-hmm. Is it still the same staff? Because I'm pretty sure they all know who Team Facket is. No, 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 not not staffing. It was a customer. Okay, I was like, if you're telling them about it, they should be like, yeah, I know. This is what, uh, one. what do you think about the? Uh, what is this oh, called fl- blood orange. orange? Flesh wound. Flesh wound. I'd give it a four. That's that's actually really good. I'd say remarkably clean for what feels like a West Coast IPA. It's cloudy. I was expecting it to be harsher. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. I was really expecting to find that, that weird hop that I don't like. The Cascade, we're assuming. <laughs> don't order any of the coffee bean drinks at Krispy Kreme. They never, ever change the ice chest. Ooh. I feel like that's a store issue, not a... So what's, actual... I'm, I'm, what's the ice chest? I'm assuming they like the ice machine. They never change it? Like, no one cleans it. Oh... Uh... I used to work at Panda Express. Don't buy any shrimp entrees if you actually want a full meal. They purposely use a smaller serving spoon to make it appear as if you're getting a lot of food. I believe six shrimp per serving max was the policy. I mean, I mean shrimp's expensive. I don't. I get it. 
Tropical Smoothie Cafe. All the smoothies except the detox ones have so much sugar in them. They got detox. I also. Uh, where's the downside in that? Who's who's getting a smoothie and is like, I want it to taste like grass, right? Can we? Well, I mean, can I, I, I get that wheatgrass smoothie? Like, Bananas, like fruit, inherently has a shit ton shit of sugar. sugar. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't. Uh, I worked at Long John Silver's in 2006. We microwaved the baked cod on a bed of rice on a paper plate. Mm. Well, I that's they sounds... don't have oven, ovens. So, I mean, you know. it is a microwave oven. Yeah, it's a microwave oven. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Mike. <laughs> Burgers from Sheets are microwave. Is that even surprising? I'm sorry. The uh, marks are fake. Bacon is microwave too. Also, don't drink the fucking peanut butter shakes. One particular peanut butter shake had nearly 2,000 calories in it. That so that meal. just sounds like a lifestyle. Ch- I want to fucking have a heart attack. I will absolutely I, eat the burger the and have shake. the peanut butter shake at the same, same time. time. I miss sheets. Sheets is awesome. Dude, MTOs, man. Bacon's Even microwave? MTOs. What's, made what's order. the problem with that? Uh, so okay, it's like Wawa? Uh, yeah. Who knows? I right, to be honest, it's probably not even like Wawa? it's probably My not even favorite. the regular microwave. It's Do they probably have pizza? like a fucking. There's nothing better so. than Wawa pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Sooner or later, we're gonna get sponsored by Wawa. <laughs> no, we're not. I worked at an I'll AMC have. theater for two years. Don't buy the coffee unless it's morning when we first open. Otherwise, you're gonna drink coffee that's been sitting out for a solid five hours. I mean, that's anywhere. Who oh, is going to the movie theater like? Let me get the coffee. Well, it might be a dude. He's going on a first date with a chick, and they're going to see a, some weird drama thing. He has to stay awake. <laughs> Can I get some Four butter four. with that? All right. Butter coffee? Can I get some? Yeah, just, just extra, extra butter on that, please. Uh, former I mean, Applebee's now, employees. I mean, now movie theaters have beer. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Give me get the coffee. They got full meals in that It's 11 a.m. Loser. I need beer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Applebee's is a bunch of frozen food. Can we, can we learn something new, or is that all you got to say? All right. I mean, yeah, the things look nice. Spend one, two minutes on a, each side on a grill for appearance, but they're not fresh. Think steak, burgers, and chicken breasts. Well, yeah. I, that, it's, don't it's, don't worry. I don't think Applebee's is doing farm to table. No. <laughs> all right, so who cares? All right, so this one is just cost effectiveness. Like, yeah, like that's... <laughs> so Outback, the Bloomin' Onion costs around 70 cents to make, not and anymore. they sell it for $8. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, like, you gotta pay for but labor, I work man. there, it's literally one station. The dude literally dredges it in buttermilk, dredges it in flour, throw it in a little special fryer basket thing, and I will it's pay, a fucking onion. I will pay whatever they're charging right now for that, because I've made it in my kitchen, and it's fucking 30 minutes of cleanup. So yeah. Yeah. I'll fucking pay you the $8 <laughs> for this goddamn onion. Oh, dude, yeah, they, they literally closed down the fucking Blue Mountain Station like an hour and a half before close. Because of all the fucking clean up on that shit. Yeah. Man. So like an hour and a half before close, no blooming onions? They're like, oh, sorry, we're out. No, yeah, they're probably just like, like a late night. it's probably just like go to the warmer. You're right. There's like 17 in there. Uh, Frankie's I think onion loaf. Man, that was See, okay, was... like, let's talk about the Frankie's onion loaf real fast. Because we all know that was a mistake. That was a happy mistake. Frankie's onion loaf? So they, you know, it was basically like a blooming onion. But it was like, they called it onion loaf because it was like, they were the fryer them. basket. It's supposed to be so onion you flipped rings, it up. I'm sure. Yeah, they were supposed to be onion rings, but someone, like, somewhere along the way... Duel, they like, dueled they it, over, and they, they were like, packed it, I'll have, like, eight it. orders ready in two minutes and just threw them all in there? Yeah, there basically, and then they flipped it out. <laughs> they flip it out onto the plate, and yeah. it looks like... Th- it's a loaf. Like a yeah. loaf, but yeah. it's like the shape of the fryer basket. Okay, I get that, yeah. Because they didn't shake it, you yeah. know, they were just overcrowded, so everything yeah. stuck together. It was good. And it was, a, But it was, a, it was a square on a fucking... Round plate? Oval plate. <laughs> These fucking shapes are pissing me off. Get it together. <laughs> he used to irritate the shit out of me. Can, can we just get it? Can I just fu- put it on the bigger plate, please? And they all you had to like it's walk it out. You, it might or might not make it to the table because it's Wait. fucking oil. <laughs> like it's like yeah, all, this all the way to the table slide. just slides off. It's like I'll be right back with another one. Like, <laughs> and this cup of sauce is oh. just gingerly yeah, laying teeter, on teetery. the side of your t- plate. And it's like and it's like a big ass loaf, and they give you like a four ounce ramekin. Yeah, I don't yeah. even think it was four ounces. I think it was the small one. The two <laughs> ounces. Yes. Put luck. a napkin underneath that. Okay, that worked. <laughs> Shit's so good though. I worked at Starbucks. <laughs> Nobody who values their health should order a white mocha <laughs> or anything with that white mocha shit. It's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, I, I that's it. not a lot of detail. 
But okay, white loaf is disgusting. Got it. Uh-huh. I work at a Chick Fil A. The only thing I would be iffy about is the chicken salad sandwich. Well, we cool some of the chicken more. once its hold time is up. Debread it and use it in the chicken salad. I mean, that's smart business practice. The debreading part's weird. A little yeah. bit. Well, you because they're using back, they're like peeling off bread, or scraping off the breader. <laughs> And Which they, I'll be honest. It? Now I, it? Uh, they're back there eating that. Now <laughs> I want to know what chicken salad's like with the skin in. Hey, dude, oh, it's delicious. Probably better. Right? Fried chicken Why are you salad? taking it off? Yeah, right. Throw that shit in there. We can find out what it's like <laughs> on well, the truck well, so, on Wednesday. It's like the well, best part next, of the next fucking time we get chicken. Next Chick Fil A, just be like, yeah, can you get the chicken salad sandwich, but just keep the breading on there? How does she, <laughs> how does she know? <laughs> they don't do them anymore. Chicken salad? Yeah. Are you so upset? I've never had it. Okay. So they haven't done it the entire time that I've, I've been thought about trying this. They, oh, I saw this. Yeah. Obviously, we've you yeah. are not oh, beating Wawa. Since we were talking about <laughs> fast food, and we did mention this last week, I was going to get Taco Bell since you said we need trash bags, and <laughs> there was no line. But as I pulled up to the stop sign on the opposite side fucking car pulled in i was like you does it give you anxiety (laughs) does it give you anxiety like when you see them coming down like keep going straight straight." as they're going like you motherfucker you better not fuck you better not turn right you better you turned right i I feel like like that story had a much different like outcome you were like i was going to taco bell because we needed some trash bags uh, you know, I gotta gotta get my trash bags from Taco Bell. They have the best bags. Uh, See, that, I know what, where you were going now, but that story just started out sounding. Like, we needed some trash bags, well, so I was headed to Taco going, Bell. I wanted they do serve trash. Uh, See, that, that, that's that's where Melissa like pulls up really quick next to him. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Right? Just park for, like, in the park five fucking minutes. Park over there for five fucking that's minutes. That's what I. That's I watched them. I you know what? You know what's really Literally funny? Like if they park, I'm going. You know what's really <laughs> funny? I totally understand that. Okay, like someone's in front of me in the line. You know what? No one's ever in the fucking building. Yeah, that is true. Ever, you could totally be the first person in line. Every single time. That is not the rule. You just rule. have to get out of See, the car. But that is not the rule. Mm. It's drive through, not only. Yeah, drive through only because you gotta you gotta keep you gotta give her like rules. <laughs> <laughs> We're sure talk did. about like every day. Alright, so here's the thing. What are the, what's the likelihood of her getting out of the car? I'm willing uh, to bet she'd drive around the building and be like somebody's in line. I could go back, park <clears> and get out of the car, but I'm not. There's gonna be a point there's... where Melissa's just getting so fed up with her, she's literally just gonna drive in a circle, just being a shark, just <laughs> so there's so nobody. That doesn't, that, doesn't, that doesn't count then, right? Because then you had to wait. Yeah, you can't. Be like, yeah. If there's somebody there, you got to leave. Which I, I was, and I thought, like, I mean, I could just nobody's behind me. I could just park here for a little bit and you know let them go through the line. But I, was I think good. one day she's just gonna like get out of the car and like act like she's changing a tire or some shit and be like, "There's nobody fucking here now." <laughs> but, yeah. they, call, they call the cops. Uh, we I, had a call about a uh, suspicious car driving around the. Bar. I'm just. There's waiting. a woman outside <laughs> waving a tire iron, threatening customers. <laughs> Don't you turn into this parking lot! <laughs> All right, so there's. I got. I got multiple questions about this thing here. KFC okay. is finally bringing a global bestseller to the U.S. for the first time ever. I want to know what this is. Is that what people are talking about? Yeah, the cheese. Okay. Well, how's their global a pizza bestseller? Cheese in the U.S. Cheese. Okay. It's like, I like want to know. Part. Really, I really want to know, like, how this was invented somewhere else. Stone Italy. Italy. No, Italy. I'm, I'm pretty Italy. sure it was invented here. Italy. They just said, you know what? This sounds like stoner food. We can't, we can't put this in America. And then apparently it got big, and they were like, no, we could definitely put this in America. Pretty Everybody much. smokes in now anyway. It's fucking fine. It was huge in fucking ham. Like, you can't tell me this wasn't some drunk college kid. Like, yo, uh, I got, like, marinara sauce, cheese, and fucking some chicken so, tenders. I mean, it doesn't look... So, I want to know... Is it... Is it uh, it's obviously boneless, right? That was yeah. going to be a dumb question. It's, it's like a fucking... It's a fucking <laughs> chicken mean, parmesan sandwich with pepperoni and no bread. Is there a bone in your pork chop I mean, sandwich? I mean, you know... Sometimes. Nowadays, I Fuck guess, yeah. I found a treat stupid. for my dog. This is... Who this is, this is th- serving the pork chop sandwich? We know who now. Someone is out there serving pork chop sandwiches with bones in them. Yeah. yeah so fucking weird. Anyway... Tell me, t- tell me thing, this right? isn't like the fucking cheap restaurant marinara, like it's, fucking dude, this parmesan. This is out of a like, fucking yeah. can. This is like chicken tenders, fucking marinara sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. Like, yeah, you just you made chicken parmesan minus the bread and added pepperoni. Yeah. I want to try it, though. Oh, so it debuted well, I mean, in the Philippines. Breaded. So it debuted in the Philippines uh, 2015. 
And if Dilly would scroll a little, I could read more. Okay. Um, Told you we need a second mouse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it, it traveled around the world uh, and joined menus in Germany. So it's a Filipino dish. That, uh, so, oh, we should ask Ken about this. Sorry, is that racist? Can, you no. got any cheese? I, you got any cheese? Uh, technically, for I, ordering bread, I feel like that, <laughs> throw like two cheeses in there. I feel like that has to be racist. You have to ask the Filipino about Filipino stuff. Yeah, like can, that makes sense, right? That, I, <laughs> I still want to. I still want him to go with me to the Filipino restaurant, just because I don't know what the fuck I'm ordering. Right. Like, I, I need you. I feel like we should take him to Filipino Fest and just make a video about him commenting on like no. <laughs> 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 All right, so it joins the menu in Germany, India, Korea, Mexico, Spain, Taiwan, and uh, Thailand. So, so it's the cheetza. Cheetza. I, I love. Nope. I love See? this. I have to pronounce it. Cheetza. cheetza. I love this whole thing right here. What? Fans in New York City are way too excited to get it two days earlier. No. Joe, I guarantee you, you can make this right now. Yeah. Tyson's chicken, some mozzarella cheese. Marinara. And I, yeah, canned yeah. marinara and some got, pepperoni. I, and a, I, just wanna, I still want to get it because I want to know how it works with the 11 herbs and spices. I mean, like, okay, fine, but I, honestly, this is something you, you can make it a meal, in part of a oven. combo with fries and a drink. Like, you could do this in your oven way easier than you could make a pizza. <laughs> Dude. I could do this like, like right now. I'm could, not talking about a DiGiorno. I'm talking about like we, actually making a pizza. We could make this like right now. At the same time, I, I ordered my DiGiorno on Amazon, so technically it is delivered. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put the system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't sue him for false, sue him for <laughs> false advertising. It's not delivery. It, oh, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> Literally just messaged him, just like, touche. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear uh, Daddy Bezos is now the, the most uh, wealthy man in the world? Oh, yeah. He uh, he overtook fucking... Musk? Yeah. Uh, I helped him. <laughs> well, well, Musk also lost the uh, fucking damn uh, reimbursement he's supposed to get and everything. Oh, I don't know. I yeah. mean, Musk has been downhill since yeah. he bought X. Pretty much, yeah. Twitter. I guess he bought Twitter, turned it into X. Well, I'm waiting for him to turn into like, like X-Mail and shit like that. Like, we're... Like sorry. Be, okay, I gotta Sky, admit, that Sky, sounds pretty dope. Sky, no, yeah, X sounds be. stupid, but X mail? That yeah. sounds pretty cool. <laughs> hey, as the famous rapper always said, X go and give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. Uh, how We're, long have you been holding on to that one? Literally five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so we already did that one. Where is the next one? There it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. The healthiest alcoholic drink. I like where this is at. Yeah, um, I have no idea what it is either. Uh, I don't. Um, I, I'm going I don't to... care. I just like how they're like, you want to be healthy, but still drink. Right. Here's how to do it. I'm gonna <laughs> venture to say that there's like some gin. Uh, just refresh it. Oh, really? I was gonna go with like some red wine bullshit. I say old fashioned. I hope so. <laughs> I fucking hope so. Watch I'll live forever. Sour. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, apparently, doing? it wants us to, you know. Do stuff. I am not signing up for this. Right. Short Oh! Red wine. Well, if we were betting, man. When we it comes to the healthiest <laughs> alcoholic drink, experts agree that a glass of red wine is the best option. It is a full uh, it is full of necessary chemicals that are good for your body in the present and prolonged life. Red wine has antioxidants, which have positive benefits for your blood, heart, and skin. I'm trying to read quickly in case this ad pops up again. Ah, kombucha. So this is a list. <laughs> okay, Not just yeah. the absolute one hard kombucha. Okay, so what makes it hard? Uh, it carries it. Well, the hard would be because it's alcoholic. How do you make it alcoholic? Because you can make kombucha at home legally. I would. I... <laughs> it's like I'm just trying to figure out like how do we opt for hard kombucha instead right. to help your gut? Well, there's still a mix with of soda sugar. or hard cider. Okay, I can... yeah, clear you alcohol. Still drink that stuff? Yeah, sometimes. The opposite of an old-fashioned. Clear <laughs> alcohols. <laughs> Most spirits won't be too damaging to your health if consumed. Okay. Options at the bar or at the liquor store. Consider options that are light on sugar uh, through other means. Spirits, especially clear ones like vodka, tequila, and gin, are pretty pure unto themselves and gain virtually no calories when mixed with soda water. Oh, are we calorie counting? I mean, I can... Is that I probably water? shouldn't. <laughs> Ooh, hard seltzers. What? See, and I don't know. Ain't no law when you're on the claw. I don't know a. 
I don't agree with uh, that. Yeah, I statement. think like there's going to be a lot, a lot of, of sugar. sugar. Yeah. Similarly, hard seltzers are usually devoid of the sugars that go into most cocktails, and some sweetener alternatives makes them an excellent low calorie option. They're also gluten free, which makes them a good alternative to a calorie rich beer. I do think obviously that depends on the seltzer. What? Greatly, greatly depends on the seltzer. I mean, yeah, like. Oh, fuck. Yes. I'm down for this one. I'm down for this Dude, one, think too. Think about all the, all the Tomato benefits juice? of a Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. It's made with clear vodka. Brunt staple yep. is primarily. It's got vegetables. It's got tomato, tomato juice. juice. Low in sugar. Has vitamins and antioxidants that you won't find in many other alcoholic beverages. The fresh vegetables that often garnish a Bloody it's Mary. when you put the whole three and a half pound fried chicken on top of it, then it gets unhealthy. Hey, hey, who Whoa. said that is unhealthy? Okay. I must say it's unhealthy. It's chicken. But... That's hearsay, sir. It's right. just maybe the breading. <laughs> you better. It's only Objection! Fun. It's only a 64 ounce Bloody Mary, but hey, you know, got a well, tire on top of it. But my hey, clear alcohol. You don't put the straw in juice. the pitcher. That's why you get. The, <laughs> that's why you get the antioxidants from the Bloody Mary, right? Because you got the oxidants in the chicken. I guess it also depends on like, are you using like tomato juice versus like. You know, like a, a Bloody mix, Mary mix, mix which yeah. I honestly like because you could like, like you know, you bust keg. it open a V8 or like you bust an open Zing Zang because I think there's a strong difference, <laughs> huge difference, yeah. Both good choices, to be yes. honest. Yes, I mean, I will make a Bloody Mary with that, and then then Zing Zang makes the hot one now, yes. But so does V8, they came out with oh, a spicy, they, they have V8 has a V8 spicy, and I would use that as a Bloody Mary as well, hands down. Uh, yeah, I, I have you ever had Bloody Mary mix? I've tried. 37 North did a great one. They're not around anymore, but I'm really curious Mine if there's... Mine was too cloudy. Cause... Do you think there's any extra benefici- like benefits to that? Like antioxidants or fucking beneficial bacteria or... I don't know, because like, I, I juice tomatoes and it... Like, that sounds like it, a weird steroid. Right? It wasn't... You juice yet? Yeah, tomatoes, bro. <laughs> Get that beef stock. <laughs> you got the beef steak tomatoes? <laughs> hey, Jason. Damn right. You juicing? Mm, you juicing? Tomatoes. <laughs> got them cherry no, balls, so, though. So, I juice ham. So we... You juice ham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It's like that jelly that's on the outside. Ralphie you know, May right yeah. there. <laughs> so... But yeah, like I tried to make my own Bloody Mary mix, and making tomato juice sucks. And it was too cloudy, yeah. and it it tasted weird. Like it wasn't like you know if you bust open a can of like Heinz tomato juice, it's not the same thing as like when you just throw a tomato or two yeah. in a juicer. Water. Well, I use a juicer. Yeah, I got the Jack Lane, You know, he's wow. Nice. No, that's old Whoa. school shit right there. <laughs> I've had it for a long time. I've never heard that name since like the 90s. Fuck. Go, 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 I got go. the fucking power juicer. Go, go, go to American Psycho thing with, you know, Bateman just, nice. What type of juicer do you have? <laughs> so I guess 3,000. Moving on to a topic about ourselves. Crackers. Hey. All right. Ritz has two new products coming to stores. Racist. Damn I'm it. still looking at this. I don't believe that the squirt and cheese through the hole works. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like someone with bad diarrhea. <laughs> like, worse than usual diarrhea. Man, I can't even squirt through the hole, man. Or something else. You never know. Like, all right. Ooh, okay. What do we got here? When you're pulling out the Ritz and the streamy, treasy, cheesy, <laughs> best diarrhea. Ritz introduces new... Sweet habanero and honey barbecue toasted chips. Uh, it's two different flavors. So yeah, sorry, two different to, flavors. Yeah, not together. So real fast. So it's not a cracker, or is it, it a cracker? I think chip. it is. It looks like a ravioli chip. It does look like a ravioli. <laughs> like if you flattened a ravioli with a car, uh, and then oh, now I wish they were raviolis. It baked in the sun. Sweet habanero ravioli. Ooh. Ravioli Ritz sounds like a good it. fucking plan, doesn't it? Just Ravioli Ritz, it rolls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ravioli Ritz rolls. Bam. Come on, guys. <laughs> Goddamn, marketing department. Where are you at? So, is this something we're looking for, too? Sweet habanero or honey barbecue? I'll, I, I mean, I'm looking more forward to the sweet habanero, but... Do you think it's going to habanero? I think it's going to jalapeno. You think it's going to jalapeno? And I think it's going to not hot jalapeno. I think we're going to go, you know, generic jalapeno now. Tastes sweet, but it burns a butthole. <laughs> well, that would, that would be even more disappointing. Right? 
<laughs> you get the back end bad, but, yeah, not right the, but not the good front. Like, <laughs> God, <laughs> fuck. Tasty this didn't even taste spicy, but it awesome. feels it. Yeah. Let me tell you. you know what I'm saying right there. We got a first taste of both flavors, and they did not disappoint. The well, sweet, that's good. The sweet habanero fits right into the Swissy trend of 23, 23, 24. Hey, hey, hey. The sweet With, habanero fits. Just right in. Swissy? <laughs> Swissy, like sweet, spicy. I got it. Swicy, yeah. I think is what it's supposed Swicy? to be. Swicy? Swicy? Yeah. Swicy. Uh, Swicy? Swicy? Has, Swicy? Has the, have they ever done another flavor? Like, I'm, has Ritz crackers ever done anything other than a cheese? Ritz yeah. fucking cracker. Well, yeah. I mean, they make, like, the Ritz, I feel the like, has a whole line. Yeah, like, they got, the like, chips, the yeah. They sour do? cream and all, that, and, like, all that, yeah. Apparently, I just don't Ritz enough. I'm a and Cars like, cracker guy. They, I do the they cheese. got like the don't they do like the poppables and like don't they do like a bunch of different things the like cheese the really that's flat che- ones. That's cheese cheese it. Is it cheese? cheese it? It? Yeah, that's, that's okay. cheese yeah. it. Okay, but it's still like because you know, uh, like they have the zest like the zesty uh, ranch and the bold cheddar from the cheese it and everything. Those are fucking good. That's cheese it. Yeah, that's cheese still it. Just, I've never seen yeah. I've never seen Ritz flavors, so I'm I'm intrigued. They do it on the uh, to- the toasted chips. Okay. Well, that's what these are. Yeah. Right? Okay. Moving on. No, I'm just only looking at that. You're looking at pizza? You mean Wawa? That's portions. a Red Baron. Yeah. You so, know what I noticed? Nope, that's Wawa. Tombstone All 6 out of 10. Wawa. You know what I noticed? It's not Wawa. Jax. That's why it's a 5 out of 10, because it's not Wawa. Right. The it's a name, 4 out of 10. A pizza so nice they the had to name it twice. <laughs> See? And none of them said Wawa, because Wawa would have been number 10. Anyway. <laughs> No, you were supposed yeah, to same, go back same, to that. Same window that you're, yeah, yeah, you were there. opening. What, 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 what? New topic, dude. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, that was the last one. Yeah, there's one. Oh, was that the end? Yeah. We finally finished an email. We oh, finished it. Is, mm-hmm. what, how far are we into the podcast? Maybe it's a good time. Yes, yeah, it is. Probably. Oh, shit. Is this computer not fucking <laughs> spring ahead? Shit, it is. It's already right. Yep. Damn. It's sprung. Right. It's sprung. Spring has sprung. Spring has sprung. Spring has sprung. Spring has sprung. Sprung and sprung. Sprung, sprung, sprung. Spring has sprung into the sprunging of spring. Rebel yell! Yeah. <laughs> As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to Team Fat Kid Choose the Fat. You can find us on Facebook at Team Fat Kid. On Instagram at Team Fat Kid Nation. On X at Team Fat Kid 1. On YouTube at Team Fat Kid. And of course, you can find us online for all of your knife and apparel needs at www.teamfatkidnation.com. You can find the food truck on Facebook at Team Fat Kid Food Truck. On Instagram, Team Fat Kid Food Truck. The X at that underscore truck. You can call us for all your pre-order and cater needs at 757-427-1586. Remember, stay hungry, be creative, and don't forget to sharpen your knives. Praise the Lord, peace, love, and bacon grease. Dooley was late, but he got internet. <laughs> <laughs> what is Dooley not late? He's, he's still moving. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the bitches are trying to do one thing for myself. <laughs> you have you're off three days a week. I love that text when I wrote.